Americans held hostage. Abandoned behind enemy lines. Day 24. Day 24 of the Biden administration. They still don't know how many Americans officially have been left behind, and there is zero plan to get them out. While these hostages were abandoned by Joe Biden, they have not been abandoned by their fellow Americans. Six charter planes from great Americans around the country, including retired special ops officers on the ground risking their lives and other private organizations, are now on the tarmac in an airport in northern Afghanistan. They're ready to take off carrying Americans and our allies to Qatar. According to various reports, these planes are now being blocked by the Taliban and others and have been blocked in some cases for six long days. And even the U.S. State Department is not helping. The Taliban is apparently demanding a ransom payment from the U.S. government. The State Department reportedly refusing to grant a approval for private evacuation flights to land in other countries. That is insane. Corporation case. R period R period till the 385 till the 460 till the 312 colon U period S period. If this news is true that we've just watched, which I have no way to vet this story, I'm counting on the people that are publishing this story to care about the people of the world and care about the people of the former United States, adjective pronoun. I am filing in to corporation case, R period, R period, till the 385, 460, 312, colon U period, S period, a global shipping manifest to aid the private contractors who they claim who are on the tarmac in Afghanistan. These contractors are on the ground, supposedly. I have no way to vet this. But if they are on the ground, I've created a global postal system to aid them in navigating their cargo back home into the former United States, adjective pronoun. In 2001, I established the Global Hyphen Postal Hyphen Union, which is a private shipping corporation that is an independent trust that sits inside the Universal Postal Union in Bern, Switzerland. So my postal union is inside on the qualifications of grammar, freight way bills, shipping way bills, and transit way bills, dealing with the navigation of postage stamps, fare for freight, otherwise known as NALEMS, and cargo passengers um, to be boarding vessels to navigate around the world. In 2003, I went down to the United Nations and I published the Global Postal Union with 82 nations at the United Nations, where in April of 2003, I met with the head of the UN Postal Administration, who we had a conversation at one UN Plaza. He told me, quote, the United Nations doesn't have authorization to exist as a corporation because they can't read and write correct. But because my global postal union was factual, then I had established it correct as a private trust inside the Universal Postal Union shipping lane on a worldwide level. Number one, that I was the greatest postmaster to ever walk the history of planet Earth. Number two, for for what I've created and established, I run it as a solitary condition of the state. Well, at this time, I would like to tender that usage to the contractors and the, the American citizens who are stuck in Afghanistan. In 2018, my business partner died. And when he died, the United States Post Office, as well as the Universal Postal Union, shipped this letter to me, which is the the establishment of the global hyphen postal hyphen union. And in that authorization was the credentialing to be in Afghanistan, as well as any independent country around the world for shipping. Now, I have no evidence that there are even contractors on the ground, and I have no proof or evidence that there are American citizens in those planes that we've seen on this video shoot. However, I have concerns that they could be American citizens in there. And if so, they do not have the technical skills on getting themselves out of their position. That's why I'm coming forward today to give closure to them on how to get involved in what I've created and how to ship themselves back over here into the former United States, as it's a pronoun. In 
So this is the shipping manifest here, which if you contract with me, you can you can get these man get this manifest and we can get it shipped over to you. You go to fortheclaimofthelife.com and you click on to the home page and you click on Afghanistan, which will have guidelines and instructions for you on how to get the shipping manifest, get it over to your location, and the protocols on how to file it to navigate out of Afghanistan. Now, I'm not involved in the negotiations of any ransom, nor would I ever deal in ransom for terror with terrorist organizations. So, it's an unfortunate situation that you've all found yourself stuck into. Here's how my contract works. It has a flag on the top page. The flag has been registered at the Secretary of the Navy's office on February 20th of 2003 to be in location as a negotiating flag in military martial law theaters. Afghanistan is currently involved in a martial law theater. So the qualifications to move this vessel contract into the location in Afghanistan meets the criteria of safeguard by the Secretary of the Navy's office. Number two, it has a postage stamp on the top and the postage stamp is fee for freight or the fares. Now, the chances of someone on the planes on the tarmac having a, a $1 stamp available is probably pretty slim. However, because I'm, in, I'm a global phenomenon and this is a global postal system, you can use a whole number postage stamp from any country in the world and place it on this contract. You autograph that contract, the stamp, but you have to have a claim of the life because only claim of the life people can board my system. Upon doing so, the contracts will then be submitted to you to now start the negotiations with your airlift company to use the contracts to move through the ports. Now let me explain how this works a little bit. You know, the first time I did this, was in 2001 and I have a manifest which we're going to show at the end of this film that was done uh, to go through Canada Customs. In Canada Customs because I'm an independent trust as a postmaster to navigate cargo which my body's the cargo and my things are the goods are the, the cargo coming with the cargo of my body the Canada Customs joined with my contract the validation of how to use a quantum contract to go through a foreign port is on my Canada passport quantum manifest, which is on file with the Secretary of the Navy's office. It's also on file with the General's Corps Courts in Washington, D.C. for each military branch. And it was published there, which they received on September 21st, 2020. Look, I get it. You guys are in a tough situation. Some of the people that are holding you up may be, a, may, may be English and they may be Arabic. I get that. If need be, we can translate this contract, the shipping manifest, to Farce, Arabic, and English, and we lose no deviation in the quantum grammar. So it translates frontwards and backwards in both dialects, and it maintains the jurisdiction of moving yourself out of there if so need be. I comprehend the tough situation that you have found yourself in. You must get educated on grammar and the history behind the former United States so you don't get caught up on this. I'm willing to work with every, each and every one of you as once you're registered up in my system. Get the necessary education and upon getting the necessary education, you can now start taking control of your world. Once you register for a claim of the life with the quantum system, I will do everything I can to make sure you have the necessary tools to get you home safely. Godspeed, never surrender, and God bless each and every one of you.